Right, so here we go once again. This is going to be our grand finals of this Sunday's MKXL EU Community Cup. It's going to be Vil Marin, the sector player from Russia, versus Ktop, the Greek Raiden player who uh, and Predator. You know, he plays Raiden and Predator simultaneously, uh, depending on which, which character is right for the matchup. I'm pretty not even sure simultaneously is the right word for that, but you get what I mean. <laughs> he plays them he both. He has access to both characters. He does indeed. But not simultaneously, because that means at the same time. Silence. Enough so, of this. Grand finals. 200 players, Trial. I will say again, turned up for this tournament. Not even registered. 200 players turned up and played. Over 200 players checking in for this. Two uh, are it's left. good numbers. Two are left. Vilmarin from Russia and Ktop from Greece. Vilmarin, amazing sector from Russia. We've heard great things about this guy. Ktop, another great player. Very confident. He very almost confident. made season finals yes. as well. Super uh, believes very much so in his own abilities. And, he, and in situations like this, this is why. He's clearly a decent player. So here we go. Sektor's going to want to keep that distance. But almost immediately with the whiff charge into down three, Vilmarin's going to secure that first hit very nicely. Now, I do wonder how much Sektor experience Ktop will have. Because there is general Sektor experience, and there is fighting a Sektors like Vilmarin, who is just insane and very in your face. But there's the corner carry already. Finds himself there. Oh, wakes up with a flame murder straight away. Vilmarin eager to establish that confidence of, I'm not going to do this. Doesn't actually finish the combo. I'm not sure if Ktop was even confident that was going to punish it. Maybe he's just testing the water. Now, one thing that might... Oh, wow, he catches it. That's going to be another full combo. Ktop's going to push him into the corner. Vilmarin almost immediately building bar immediately. Now, I like that use. Trying to armor break the flame burner with that new string. Because the two hit of, of armor that most reversals have been given will almost make it impossible to armor break. That string with the lightning that hits massively may actually armor break Sector's reversal. Notice we say may, because we haven't seen it too much. Tries to combo from that, doesn't actually quite get it. But uh, no love lost here. Still gets the uh, life lead moment. Another wake up flame under the right, blast and retaliation. That's two for two times Ktop has challenged those plus frames of the flame burner. He's not going to punish the, uh, the forward three. He's going to catch him anyway. Nice corner pressure once again. And again, he's trying to challenge that. Nice counter poke. Ktop just absolutely all over Vilmarin. And once again, two for two on the counter poke. Oh my word. Three for three. What these, is going on? These guys are absolutely determined to force the other guy. This is what I'm going to do to oh, you. That was a diss. That was a dominant game number one. It's almost like they play very similar to each other. Have you noticed? Like these these guys have a very similar style. Well, I believe Raiden's down back, uh, uh, down back two, the, the meat burn shock. Not only is that a mid, last. not only is that a mid, but I believe that's safe now, right? That is, I think it's safe on block. I don't know if it's safe, is, so I'm not going to comment as a thing. Is Raiden? Man. Is Raiden? I mean, I, I, I think chat might need to let us know because I can't. It's, it has been addressed in the patch. It's been changed, but we don't see a lot of it thunder gods. armor and doesn't knock down, so it does leave standing. And actually, flame burn and vicinity blast are two very similar abilities. Only Vicinity Blast could be comboed off as an anti cross up. You would use them in different situations, in the same situation, sorry, yes. as well, where you would try and well, go case for almost, point, you know. It's minus two on block, so Thunder God Raiden gets a safe mid counter poke. Very dangerous. However, Sector is guaranteed a, a string from his Flame Burner, so if he's letting Ktop go for the armor. Oh, he's nice reaction! Here we go again, he's got Vilmarin, the rubber cancel, low again, he's gonna block. I wonder if we're ever gonna see Ktop try and establish an overhead. He's gonna check in with the forward four. Nice break there from Ktop just to try and get out of that situation. Here we go. That, now this is exactly what he wants. However, he's just gonna run straight in. Ktop doesn't have the stamina to run cancel, so he's gonna immediately challenge that. And again, you're not gonna be able to low profile the uh, the shocker because that's now a mid two. But a nice catch from Vilmarin. Big damage. And the run under just put him near the corner. Oh no, into the unsafe slide. Takes the amazing situation from a blocked up rocket and unfortunately completely wastes it. On a punishable slide. Raw Superman dive from Ktop. He's spinning himself, but Vilmarin's gonna punish him and take this round anyway. Okay, so round one's gonna go to Vilmarin. He's doing an amazing job of building meter too. Like, he's almost very rarely without two bars in this entire set. However, Ktop finds himself uh, not even with one at the moment. He's gonna have to find his way in a bit more honestly, but does have an opening here and does have the corner. But is Vilmarin, yes, he is gonna go for the flame burner. And the vicinity blast, Vilmarin tries to throw. He is not adapting to Ktop's use of the vicinity blast. Oh, he's trying to check in with the mid, but unfortunately, Sector's down three is gonna completely low profile Raiden's back one. A bit of a heartbreaker, I think, for Raiden players where the mid can actually still be low profile by certain things. Oh, there's the air dash. Bill Marion is completely in control right now. It's going to be super hard for him to lose this round unless Ktop makes something magical happen here. Bill Marion, though, sitting on two bars. I'll actually completely agree uh, with the decision to go for meter burn missiles there because those Havoc missiles from that range, Raiden's not going to check you. He's not going to crush it. He's chippable life anyway. And Bill Marion went, you know what? I don't think you're going to be able to do anything about these Havoc missiles. And there you go. He's going to take that second game. There is a new king. 
Good stuff all around though. Really, really impressive so far. I feel like um, for Marin, he's not really respecting the armor as much, but he's making uh, much better use out of uh, K-Top's attempts to get in, right? He's, he's just making sure that by the time K-Top gets in, he's got a spend bar to stay in, or, you know, he is down on life by the time he gets there. One thing I'd like to also point out in this matchup specifically is every single time K-Top is currently hitting Vilmarin, although he's ending the combo in a Superman, he's not ending it like point blank into the corner, which means Especially that... towards the end of the last game. So sure. Vilmarin actually still has that neutral space to work with if he gets tagged. You know, he's uh, K-Top doesn't end combos or hits with pressure. Oh no, preemptive. Oh no, actually blocks the board 4-3. No hit confirmed for Vilmarin, but he has got corner pressure. Nice challenge, but I mean, it's not going to work out right here. Jump straight in, again, yeah, some easy hit confirm right down the meter burn. So many hit frames, and he just has this sector corner trap that many people just seem to really not know how to deal with too much. Log and light, looking a lot like Fuse for Blue right now, just doesn't have an answer to that crucial tool in the uh, in the matchup. But the, sec the second Vilmarin puts him in the corner and establishes these up missiles, his opponent is consistently having, like, seemingly no answer for it. And here we go. Round number one's going to go to Vilmarin again. It was looking all K-top. He's, but right he, now, he's lost a lot of steam in this match. Phil Marin is just completely controlling everything about the game. Just, again, disrespecting the just a standard string from Jelly Jumping Punch. Ends early, catches the overhead, and Phil Marin's going to turn this into damage. Oh no, tries to reset again, but the tech roll this time. K-Top isn't going to fall for it twice. He's not going to go out without a fight, certainly. Here we go, Phil Marin in the corner gets tagged by the Shocker, but again, he's going to have access to some kind of wake-up. If he wants to go for it, block on the counter poke. Neutral crouch, there's the knowledge. That's the first time we've seen K-Top go for that neutral crouch with the full combo punish on that mid. Oh, respect to the up rocket. Down three as well. Nice throw tech. K-Top. Oh, catches him. Doesn't get a full punish, but at least doesn't lose the momentum. But he's going to throw another bar away. But he's Thunder God. He's going to build all of that. This isn't going to be death, but he's going to get a ton of damage on this. He's going to cash out early. The back. Here we go. Challenge. He's going to get the punish. He doesn't quite get it, but he has got the pressure once again. That's the first time he's even going to do it. Raw meter burn shocker. He's actually going to do this. Wow, what a nice tag. From that range, I've got to point out the fact that he did the max range back too and realized nothing else would hit and went raw meter burn shocker. It also, it also meant his stamina had time to uh, to regenerate so he could get the full follow-up. That was actually a genius use of it by k -Top. Oh, oh wow. Punish, teleport. No, doesn't get a full combo. That is going to come back to haunt him later on. Oh, could that be the answer he's looking for? I mean, it's expensive for a bar, but it's something. It that means that Bill Marin can't just do them for free. That's definitely a good trade, I think. He's going to go for the run cancel again. Nice meter build. Wow, tries to press buttons after. Bill Marin's going to call that bluff with that chunky mid. And he's going to tag it. Again, he's going to break in the corner. Wake up down three. Nice throw tech. Again, another down three. And again, another grab. Bill Marin getting so much mileage out of those low points. Oh no, he's in the three. Is that death? Oh, oh no, does it doesn't confirm. K-Top might actually survive this. Oh, that's going to catch him. That's guaranteed at that point, yeah. Right there, he's guaranteed. You know, it all, again, it, it comes down to being cornered to be sector and not having the answers. Could, be, could he not just Superman them, though? Can he not just see him up rocket and just go for the Superman dive? I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed punish. Because, I mean, the Superman's also got two hits of armor, too. And there's no way close missiles can attract that, surely. That must be the answer. Either way, K-Top's going to have to find an answer really quick, because this is going to be one more game. Bear in mind, guys, this is a single a limb tournament. This is a single a limb tournament. Uh, and I think one of the adaptations I think Bill Marin has made as well is that um, Sector's down three is doing a really good job of actually low profiling Raiden's mids because although Raiden's got mids, um, I don't actually think Raiden has a true mid. You can so, low profile all of them. Chat is telling K Top to go to Liu Kang, but he goes straight to Predator. No hesitations. Just as quick as we saw him go to Raiden before, he has gone to Predator this time. So K Top like, again, like, he must be confident in the pick, but Vil Marin is looking one game away from taking Either this Either he's confident in the pick, or this might be a I thought Raiden was the solution, but it might be Predator, and he's going to have one more game to potentially uh, get some data here. You know, he might not have enough time to adapt to what he wants to do. However, he has got the rush down, and now he's got Vil Marin in the corner. Nice knockdown, good use of reversal again, but again, K Top has been consistently disrespecting the plus frames on that meter burn, flame burn, and he's paying the price for it now. Or could that be the reason? Because maybe he thinks the Scimitar Slam is, is, is the answer to it, but it didn't quite work out as intended. Meet the Flame Burner again on Wake Up and Bill Marin. Now he does another Disney Blast. What has he got to fear? I think that was really smart. I actually think that was incredibly smart from Bill Marin, where um, K Top had consistently disrespected the plus frames and tried to press the button. The next time he hit Flame Burner, he expected K Top to sit there and, and obviously take the next mix. And the second he knows he's blocking, he goes straight in for a grab. He oh, has no Bill Marin in the corner. Oh, no Full combo. Autopilot's a little bit and goes for a low shot. He he could have got max damage there, but Bill Marin has him in the corner. Spends a bar to get out of the corner. Doesn't get punished for it though, which is good for him. Oh, oh wow! 
So Vilmarin had the bar, he had the mind game there ready. If you've got a bar of meter, you, you need to establish the threat of the teleport. It is just so crucial. He's gonna get a nice conversion again. Good damage. K Top tries to go for it. No punish, and it's gonna be match point to Vilmarin from Russia. Is Russia gonna take this first streamed community cup top four? Vilmarin just might. No punish, that's disastrous for K Top. Is he is he slightly tilted? Is he not ready for these now? But he's got like corner pressure, chipping away slowly but surely. Gets a full combo. I feel like there's a little bit of panic here. What is this an that interesting was very combo? Nice. Corners himself. That could be disastrous because he hasn't had an answer for the up rockets and now he's in a situation he's forced to take them. But no, he is going to get out of the corner. And there's a poor punish on the low. Doesn't get it. But it's going to trip guard. Looking really good for K-Top. He is in control. Phil Marin back to the wall. Has no bar to make this comeback. And that is going to be it. Just Phil Marin. He throws up. He completely throws up. K-Top was just in the driver's seat ready. And there is the cut brutality to finish it off. That one sequence could be what has just won K Top this tournament. Because it was it many players could be tilted in that situation. Dude, he he, he was at that point, like, he looked done. He looked like he was out of options. He looked completely lost, but he just got that one touch, fought his way out of the corner through tooth and nail, and one game away. He has tied this up. Phil Marion probably gonna stick with Sector. Don't imagine we'll see him uh, change. Well we've had a we've had a fair few people say to us, where does Sector sit in this game's meta? Sector plays MKX's new meta to a T because there's no armored reversals anymore. So armoring through his gaps or if there not, are, it costs two bars, but which that's the Sector thing, right? wants you to spend where, on that bar. In most situations where it was a risk for him to do the gaps and the pressure because you could armored reversal him. However, in this meta, where it's not as prominent, he is much more free to go for these options. However, K-Top with that Predator adjustment. Oh wow, he's gonna secure that first hit. That's probably very important actually that he took that first hit away from Hishkitten. And K-Top is crouch blocking the rockets as well though. Maybe he thinks they're a mid. Maybe he just isn't used to this matchup. Yeah, consistently blocking the rockets. Yeah, I don't really know why he's not neutral crouching, to be honest. He's just giving all that free meter away. But again, Bill Marin's gonna play that zoning game. Oh, checking out a couple of limbs. I don't know, I kind of would have liked to see him zone a little bit. Bill Marin's gonna, he's, he's gonna keep the bar. I wonder what he's planning to do with it. Oh, jump in the corner the again. Corner. Again, Bill Marion isn't blocking these correctly. He's either calling the bluff on the 50-50 or he's just not used to it. Doesn't get a full combo. Wake up down three again. Doesn't confirm into a teleport. Maybe Bill Marion himself is looking a little bit flustered right now. Is he going to go for a teleport? No, he's not. He's going to check it. Once again, he's going to get tagged. That's a full combo. If k -top doesn't break, which he is going to do, that would have been game over. He's going to try and check and have missiles to jump back. Dash, and there we go. It's gonna be match point once again to Vilmarin. But K-Top just spent two bars to break. This is a bad situation for him to be in. Doesn't punish the air dash again. K-Top just not ready. And that's a really good trade for him. Yeah, that was cool an interesting trade, but it was a very, very good one for him. Again, I wonder if he's gonna uh, consistently try and challenge the nice block. Good patience from K-Top. He's not gonna overextend too much. More pressure. Oh wow, that was so crucial. He's gonna get the cancel into full combo. He's gonna get a nice flat here into disc. Here comes the pressure. Oh, whiffs the full string. There's no punish on the low again, though. K-Top needs to be ready for these. I don't, oh, even, know if, I don't even know if K-Top thinks that's punishable because he isn't actually trying to punish the forward three anymore. That's going to be big damage. Bill Marin's actually going to try and win. He has K-Top in the corner. This is when he's been getting his money right here. He's going to get a home missile. Here we go. Good pressure. Once again. Oh, oh gets that down four. Threads the needle. Gets just out of the way. But is, is this a full screen game it can take? Is that going to do it? K-Top oh. keeps himself alive. Tournament point for both of these players right now. 200 entrants started it. We're down to what will be the final round. Does he confirm into the low shot? Yes, he gets a full jump in. Bill Marin let that happen. And corner to corner. Already so close. And the flame burner is going to catch him jumping over. Brings him back to the neutral a little bit more. K-Top looking so close to taking this one. But Bill Marin gets an air dash. The wake up projectile doesn't quite get it. That big leg's gonna go straight in. Here comes the pressure. Here comes the load back to back. He's gonna flame burn it, try and get out of this. What's gonna happen? Oh, Troy's going for the teleport. Don't think he quite managed it though. Maybe he's just trying to fake him out. Oh, Vilmarin with the. This is literally so close, you can't even call it. Vilmarin has one bar of need to make something happen. That might be a safe teleport. Here comes K Top. How is he gonna handle this pressure? What is he gonna do? The question is what? Oh, the point blank. Two bars. Vilmarin tries to spend another one. He tried to teleport. It didn't work. And he gets out the air dash calls at the last minute. That's, That's it. That's game over. Game. He's taken this whole tournament with that nice back one. Vil Marin spends it all, all of it, on that back one. If that was blocked, that could have been death. But at the end, he went for that all or nothing. Back three or back one. K top guest on the back three. Didn't take it. That faction kill looks disgusting with Predator. I've got to point that out. Oh it's my like days. nuclear goo all over the floor. But. What a tournament. That, that was that was a great display, I've gotta say. I mean that that was ten respects. That that was I think as back and forth as it gets. Hishku ten versus Sector. Do we think that was gonna be the last game we saw today? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I think 
I, for one, am very happy with that. I and mean, I'm gonna give you guys the final score, which will be three, not K-Top, Vilmarin. <laughs> Let me quickly adjust this. Ah, there you go. So I think what happened there was Vilmarin, I think that was the first back one he did all grand finals. I actually think that was the first overhead he did the whole time. Because and at the, the very is, end, the thing is, even though the back one is very much fuzzyable, you can react to it. Vilmarin did so many forward twos and so many forward fours that just neutral crouch in that situation was just just so unattractive. You know, he got so much mileage out of the forward two one two back dash, out of the forward four three turned into teleport or air dash, that he just he he made K top. You are not going to neutral crouch here. And that situation where he just, he made the read and he got it. Really smart play, really good stuff and well deserved. I want to say as well that I feel like Sector, um, although he uses 50-50s the least, arguably, he actually uh, gets a lot of mileage out of them almost the most. Him and Smoke, I would say even, where the second you sit there to block the missiles and the mids and holding things on flame burner you're sitting there blocking right which means he can then run in and check you with one of those back one or back three you know so in that instance where Vilmarin very very intelligently went for um a lot of full screen pressure the second you're you're frozen up and right at the end Katop had frozen up he was sitting there blocking absolutely everything looking for that one moment to check him with something Vilmarin smelled blood there. He, he could sense that fear and then went, you know what? If you're going to sit here blocking, I've got a bar of meter, right? That's a, that is another air dash mix-up. So if you're going to sit there and block, I am finally going to check you with one of my mix-ups. A 50-50, overhead or low. Time to guess, mate. I've got a bar of meter and if I get it, game over. And he got it. And he won the whole tournament on that decision. What a set. We had multiple game fives here. Really, really happy with this result. And yeah, and, and congratulations to K-Top. You know, really, really good stuff. Showed some awesome Raiden, showed us some brilliant Predator, and it was all international. So huge shouts to all you guys that ended. Thank you for watching this today. Sitting on 669 viewers at the very end. That is uh, a good number for us, I think, for this, for this week one Community Cup. We want to do this more often, guys. Thank you very much for sticking with us. This has been incredible. The play was great. The numbers were good. You guys hopefully enjoyed it. Do let us know. Um, we will be putting this on our YouTube as well. Yeah, so make sure you keep an eye on Check out our YouTube, guys. We'll be sticking the VODs up tomorrow. I'll make sure to get that done. Uh, thank you all for watching. One final note before you all go. Um, we will do as much as we can to stream the top four of every Sunday Cup. Because it is EU every Sunday, I believe. However, next week is the London Comic Con at MCM. Where the UK Premiership is taking place for Overwatch... Uh, Counter-Strike and League of Legends. It's a very important event for ESO UK and we will be there with them all week basically which means that we will not be available to stream next Sundays. However, make sure you tune in in two weeks time where we will be doing this all over again with hopefully a wider range of European players. Bear in mind we had over 200 people check in for this tournament so we're super happy with those numbers and we're super happy with the result we got tonight. Thank you all for watching. Huge congratulations to Vilmarin for taking this tournament and, you know, commiserations to KTOP for giving us a good display and showing us that he is still a dominant player. So cheers guys, thank you very much, and we will see you next time.